Listen to me. Yep, you're on with Izzy. Izzy. Hey, Izzy, mate, how are ya? Tell this guy to fuck off first. I'm not answering any questions. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. Shoo. Away. Better. It's perfect. Sweet. Let's go. You're all good? Perfect. Hey, mate, well, first of all, congratulations on, on the fight being announced. This is one that I feel like you've... You've had in the back of your mind for a while now. Uh, I remember speaking to you back before even UFC 230 and, and Paolo Costa was a guy that, that you wanted to face. Um, did you imagine that this would be coming in a title fight, though? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, and you were right. Uh, that was New York 230. After, that was after I beat um, Brad Tavares. And I was looking at what's his name next because I watched him fight the next night after I whooped Brad Tavares. <laughs> He uh, beat Uriah Faber. Oh no, it's what's his name, Uriah Hall. And I saw him down uh, backstage. I saw him backstage, but um, yeah, nothing. It was just crickets. And I had an idea that Dana would want to wait till I'm champ, and then he's rising up, and then have a match like this later on. Just like I said, I'm sure it's out there somewhere in the ether. But yeah, B said it. In terms of of your, I guess, back and forth with, with Costa. You've gone from fighting a guy like Rob who, who doesn't do much talking and there's not, I guess, a lot of animosity to someone like Costa who seemingly has no filter. Uh, is that, is, do you prefer either one? Does it phase you at all? Does, does it change anything? Well, Rob did do a lot of talking, let's be fair. Um, and I called him out on it. But yeah, Costa might need a filter because he says some real dumb shit sometimes like, he calls himself the king of bitches. So, I don't know. Maybe he should put a filter on sometimes. He uh, recently revealed that he's he's walking around at, I think, 220 pounds, uh, which means he's got a fair bit to cut before fight night. Does his size phase you at all? Like, obviously, he's one of the, I guess, bigger middleweights. You're all, you're all weighing in at the same weight. But, but does that phase you at all? Nope, never has, never will. I fought a heavyweight in boxing, and kickboxing, and I will plan on fighting a heavyweight and never met at some point. But, yeah, this is martial arts. This is skills. Size makes a difference if you know how to use it and if you're allowed to make a difference. But, yeah, I'm. <laughs> they're always surprised when they step across the cage for me and they realize how, how, how long I am, how, how my frame. They get to test my, my frame rate as well. And then when they feel me in the clinch and they feel my strength, and yeah, they're always in for a rude awakening. The location of this one hasn't been announced yet, but there's there's some talk that it's it's going to be at the UFC Apex in, in Vegas, which is obviously a, a smaller Smaller octagon. cage. That's another narrative I've been hearing. A smaller octagon. Okay. Do you want to put that to bed? Well, look at how I dealt with Brad Tavares in a smaller octagon, and he was pressuring me. I whooped his ass 5 nil, so... Yeah, I, and I fought in another kickboxing organization with a, a ring against a guy as well who's a Dutch kickboxer and just walks forwards and throws leg kicks and body shots and same style as Paul, uh, what's his name, Paul Acosta, in kickboxing in a tiny phone booth ring. And I still whooped his ass. So I don't know why people think that's like going to play a heavy factor. It's like, cool, we can fight wherever the fight takes place. We might end up fighting on the ground. It's This is mixed martial arts, man. This is adaptability and triumph. So, yeah. I'm used to this. Appreciate it, mate. No thoughts on him moving up to heavyweight at all in terms of what what he's leaving okay, behind well, in that okay, position? Okay, well, look, look how long it took him to move up to heavyweight finally. And like I was saying, he was expecting me to do it straight away when I haven't even defended my belt yet. So I've defended my belt twice now. I want to defend it a few more times and then do what I set out to do. But yeah, hot color the kettle black on his part so yeah go put some fucking muscle on your chopstick legs and go fight francis and watch him break you i hope he doesn't though <laughs> maybe he does who knows